So I'm, today I'm going to show you one of the key differences between uh, our chain and many other chains that are on the, on the market. So just the first thing is most uh, chain companies, industrial chain companies in the world are really focused on making transmission or roller chain. And the most important thing on roller chain is the interaction between the roller, the inner link and the sprocket. So really sort of they put a lot of their effort into these components to, uh, because that's where the performance of the chain comes from. On a, uh, on a leaf chain, it's obviously built in a different way. And really the most, the key component is the, uh, is the, is the link. Now, a few years ago, we've really started to look at how we could improve the um, performance and the fatigue life of our, uh, of our chain. And we really identified that the plate flatness was a key, uh, was a key, was a key, um, key issue. So just to show you a conventional way of making leaf chain plates or making any industrial chain plate is that it's a multi-stage tool. You press, the first it presses the uh, holes out on the pitch, then they shave the holes to the correct size, and then it knocks the, uh, knocks the link out. So that's just pretty much how everybody in the world makes, uh, makes chain components. But what you get with any, um, any metal uh, stamping process is that you get some dishing or uh, uh, concaveness as you make them. And you can see that when you put two leaf chain links together, um, that you, you, there's some gap, you know, and they, they, they sort of don't sit completely flat against each other. Now in a roller chain that's not so important, but on a leaf chain it's really important that the maximum amount of area in the pin um, is in contact um, with the plate. So you can see that these rock slightly. So what we did is we looked at how we make the chain and we came up with a, a, a different way of stamping the links out uh, to try and relieve this uh, pressure. So we do the same. We uh, punch the holes on the pitch, then they're shaved, the holes then punched for a, um, a, a final time and we take part of the shape out and then it's punched out a final time. And you can see we're bringing them out at a slightly different angle and that what that does is it gives us a really flat uh, plate and it means that you get a lot more area of the hole uh, parallel to, on onto the pin. So you're increasing the surface contact area and you can see it doesn't really matter which way round you turn these links, they're always flat. And that means they can share the uh, load equally. So what that is, is so as we only specialize in leaf chain, we can focus our manufacturing process on making leaf chain components. And so you end up with a chain that has a better tensile strength and fatigue strength than many other chains on the market.